Hi, my name is Eddie Jackson Jr. And this is Real True Street Crime. I just looked at some of the dumbest shit on the internet I ever seen in my life. A woman on the internet saying she can't date a man unless he got a million dollars. She says she can't date a man who makes a hundred thousand dollars and she a black woman. I want to ask that black woman on the internet spruing that shit. Number one, you a sack chaser. In my day, we used to call women like that sack chasers. We all was making a million dollars and none of the women we dated made that kind of money. I ain't never dated a woman that made a million dollars. And if I put that kind of condition on a woman, I wouldn't have had one to this very day. I ain't never dated a woman with shit with no money because I had it and I wasn't looking for no woman for her money like the sack chasing broad I see on the internet talking about she can't date a man unless he got a million dollars. Bitch, do you got a million dollars? And then the nigga who got a million dollars let me instruct you, sister. He got a whole lot of choices and he might not want your broke ass since he got to have a million dollars to have you. He might not want your broke ass. What if the man who got a million dollars make that kind of condition? I don't want a woman unless she make a million dollars. It'd be a whole lot of men making a million dollars out here without women. Because let me explain something to y'all. And I told y'all this once before. I was making a million, handling a million, and playing with a million. And I had seven women, one for every day of the week. That's what millionaires have. They don't have no one woman sitting around. You be sitting around waiting on them. Let's get this twisted. The sister said she can't date a man making $100,000. A man who want a family. A man who want to stay home with her. I understand what Kevin Samuelson was talking about when he talking about those kind of women who make those kind of statements. Do you know how long you may not never find a man with a million dollars so you ain't going to enjoy your life and have a wonderful family with a man who makes 100000 50000 and loves you? Going to be there to help you raise these kids, not a man who just going to leave some money there, and he ain't never going to be there to help you raise them kids. Why don't you talk to a whole lot of these rich ladies who done had million and billion ass and see how they turned out. Look at Elizabeth Taylor. She had nine different husbands. Elizabeth Taylor had nine different husbands and still didn't have one when she died. Money don't guarantee happiness no way, no shape, no form. And don't get that in your mind thinking because you're going to have some money. You're going to enjoy things. What you're going to have is every nigga in the city after you for your money. Hey, that girl there, she rich. Go fuck her, get her nigga, she got money. So now, you want to be the sack that niggas chasing. See, bitches used to be sack chasers in my day because they wasn't getting money like we was. But we didn't have no kind of constraints and conditions that a woman had to make 150. A woman just had to be pretty sexy and a woman. What we wanted was a woman to be pretty sexy and a woman. We didn't want and put no stipulations that she had to make a million dollars, a hundred thousand, all this bullshit. Whatever happened to straight down love? Whatever happened to love? Y'all telling me, this lady telling me, it ain't no love no more. It's only love of money. And when she find that millionaire, he ain't gonna trust her. Because he don't know she just there for his money. Don't think niggas with a million dollars is a fool. They know you sack chasing bitches is just there for their money. So don't get it twisted. And all they give you sack chasing bitches is some hard calm, some hard dick, some calm, and some bubble gum. And tell you bitches to get the fuck on. You just been dick down and played it with your sack chasing ass. So all these sack chasing hoes out here chasing sacks, then as soon as you get tied up with a nigga getting money, huh, I didn't know that. I didn't know he was that kind of guy. He's abusive. Wow. You could have kind of figured that out from the motherfucking Gideon. But no, 
You convinced yourself because you wanted the money. See, money make a motherfucker do a whole lot of things, and then they wake up, oh, 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 I did this, I did that. Why don't you just tell the truth? You was a sack chaser, and you did the shit for money, and it didn't work out like you thought. Just like planning to marry a nigga because he got a million dollars. It might not work out like you think, sister, because he might have your ass sign a prenuptial agreement, dick your ass down, and send your ass on with very little. So you got your millionaire, and I hope you enjoyed him, because that's all you asked for. You didn't ask for a loving, happy relationship. You asked for a millionaire. He could be a motherfucking killer. But all you want is he got a million there, so that's good enough for me. I didn't ask for anything but him to have a million dollars. I didn't say I want a good man, a loving man, a man to love me, a man to stay at home with me. Because I didn't see how big money players play it. They got a woman for every day of the week. And if you don't like it, move the fuck on because they don't give a fuck. Why do you think that hoe was trying to get Demetrius fucked up? Because he didn't want her no more. Told her to get the fuck on. And he was through with her. And she couldn't take it. Because he was a millionaire. And she knew more than one million. She had seen him handle millions on millions every day. And she couldn't let that go. Because she was a sack chaser. So she took the attitude. If I can't have him. I'm going to the feds. And the feds going to get it. Ain't no bitch going to have it. If I can't have it. It went from you want a man with a million dollars, and that didn't work out quite right for you. It worked out for a few months or however long it lasted. But in the end, he knew you was a sack chaser, and he told you to get the fuck home. So understanding that while you out here looking for a million dollar man and a man who got a million dollars, when you find him, when you find him, if you find him, ladies, when you find him, if you find him, ladies, watch out. Because I guarantee you, he got plenty more bitches in line besides you. And you just one of many. And you only plan yourself. Oh, he loves me. I'm the greatest thing since sliced bread. To he show you and pull up another bitch in your face who finer than you are. Pussy probably better than yours. And he ain't fucking with you no more. Like Big Sean say, how you think? That little hot mama he had, and he told her, fuck you, and I ain't fucking with you no more, you little gold digging sack chasing bitch. Fuck you. I ain't dealing with you no more. All you want is money, bitch, and don't no man want a bitch who don't want nothing but money, because once the money gone, that bitch going to be gone right along with that money. So look out for these sack chasing hoes out here. Because they out here for men and they want to play like they a good housewife. Don't make a hoe a housewife because it ain't going to work. Don't make some of these hoes housewife because you can't make a hoe a housewife. And that's a fact. Ask any niggas that. Can you make a hoe a housewife? That's the question of today. Can you make a hoe a housewife?